Word of life. Word of love. Yeah. In Stella Mosh. Thank you, Nick. So was the eye for the people. <laughs> What's good, everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today we're going to fit the diffuser on this Polo TSI. Um, yeah, exciting news. Um, and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, yeah, so first thing what we're going to do is we first are going to remove the, the knob. What number is it over here? Ah, the toe ball. Yeah, so first things first, we are going to remove the toe ball. Um, there is a procedure. A procedure. <laughs> there is a way we do it. So as you guys can see there, we have that lock there. You have a key that needs to go in there and then you just pull it down and then it's out. Um, as you guys saw there, there is also a hole. So this is the part that fills it so that it looks nice and flush and then the diffuser goes over that. So yeah, without further ado, let's start. Okay guys, so this is the key you use to remove the tow bar. Um, I believe each and every tow bar has its own specific key, um, unique key. I said, it's secret. I believe it is. Okay, guys. Um, so I have the key for the tow bar. Um, I believe each and every tow bar should have their own unique key. I'm speaking on the correction. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. So yeah. Now it's just time to remove it. And yeah, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the ball rolling. Uh, let's get it. I say. <laughs> is out so yeah this is the plate or the panel or the or whatever you want to call it but this back plate here i'm gonna put it in and then it should be flush no hole anymore can't you see i'm trying to get through so you click it in like this or you yeah you put this first in and then you click it upwards i'm not sure if you guys can see it but you Put it in like this and click it upwards. This will click in place. So don't do it.
Okay guys, so we have the diffuser here, so I'm gonna put the Seeker Flex here, here, and here we do have the uh, double-sided tape that goes around here. So we're gonna peel that and then put the Seeker Flex on these parts that's making contact with the car. I'm also gonna put here on this small pieces here, just... Okay, that extra extra, but uh, Caitlin says it's not touching, so we're only gonna do this part, these three sections here with Seeker Flex, and maybe one there, but... Yeah, so that should be it. There's the double-sided taping across there. So yeah, let's get it. Okay guys, so we're going to do the sides first. Um, so what I'll be doing is I'll be taking a wet cloth, just wiping it down, using the microfiber towel to clean it. Then I'm gonna use the sanitizer to spray it and then the microfiber towel to clean it again. Uh, just to make sure that everything is nice and clean. Uh, the same for the part as well. And then I'm gonna remove the strip um or the the strip on top of the um double-sided tape and then i'm also going to add uh, the sika flex uh, when skinning adhesive just to make sure that it sticks and stays there so yeah let's continue Okay, so after discussing it, um, we believe there is enough adhesive here. So yeah, now it's time to stick it. Casey, doing the honors of removing. Ooh, satisfying. Nice. Is it connection there also? Wat denk je over? you guys enjoyed the video um, I know it was it's been a while since I've done another video but yeah um, I hope you guys liked it uh, please like please subscribe please share it with everyone and if you do like the diffuser comment it down if you don't like it comment it down um, yeah we on the road to a thousand subs 
Um, and yeah, it's been an amazing journey. I know it's been four months. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's been a while, but yeah, I'm finally back. Uh, and at least soon I'll drop another video for you guys and more content regarding more cars and not only just the polo. But with that being said, see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.